Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my Saving with Shalanda Sunday. Um, it's basically like slaying my student loans Sunday is what I should call it. Um, but I'm going to be doing that by using Shalanda's um, heat book. So just to show you, this is what it is. Um, it's a big game book, basically. She released it. It's so exciting. Um, and I'm going to use it exclusively to do more payments on my student loans. Now my student loans is my snowball. So right now I am also paying more on my student loan well, um, and that won't change. This money that I get is actually coming out of my designated amount for savings. Um, so I will be trying to do $50 each week towards my student loans from my savings. Um, I just think that that um, will still have plenty of money for savings and I just think um, it's important to really pay down these debts. So on that note, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I paid off my first student loan um, just last week and I feel so amazing about that. Um, so this printout here is for my next one in line. It's $2,989. Um, it's not my my least amount. My, my smallest loan is $2,700, but that one has a 3.8%. This one has a 6.8%. So I decided to do this one first to get rid of that one. And um, I need to still Put in my dollar amounts here along the side so each each video for my student loans i will start it by updating this tracker based off of the snowflake payments that i make during the month but the money that comes in here um, will not get applied to the student loan balance until i have completed the challenge so and then we if i plan it right we I'll try to do that payment together with you guys on the video. Okay, so there is Shalanda's beautiful face and just telling us that she's so thankful for us. Um, what I'm going to do first is grab my long-term sinking fund binder here, or long-term savings goal binder here, and I have an envelope in here for this book. So we are playing with $50 today. I'm going to just stick that in there. and put that to the side. And I'm gonna put $50 on my calculator and I'm gonna hope we don't end up with an IOU. <laughs> so um, these first couple pages, she kind of treats as a 100 envelope challenge and um, a different sort of challenge, but I'm gonna start with Shut the Box because I would like to play some games. I have never played Shut the Box. Um, before I have Renee's version and I know like in the middle of February it was shut the box week but um, I was dealing with the plague so I am going to play it today I am going to play it high income so I'm hoping we'll get through two lines um, but this should save me quite a bit of money I watch Ellie she does the high income version of this and um, sometimes it saves her quite a lot of money so I am going to start. Okay, so six. Four. I need some I need some high numbers. That was a six and a five, which that is eleven. Uh oh. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eleven again. So we are going to do ten and one. That is nine. I don't know why I keep clicking that shut. Twelve, yay! <laughs> okay. 
Um, that is nine, and I am out. Right? Yeah, okay. So, I am going to pay, let's see, eight plus three plus two, so that is $13. So I'm gonna just write that to the side. And we are gonna go again. Let me just see, so we have $37. So hopefully we don't be that bad at this. <laughs> We're starting off not very strong. So three. Five. Ten. Five. Six. 12, okay, good. That is seven. That is also seven. No. Okay, we are out, I believe. Yeah, we are out, okay. Then so we are out a lot of money. 11 plus nine plus eight. Plus two is thirty dollars. Okay, so that means we have seven dollars still to play. Do you think we can make it? We're gonna owe this, huh? It's fine. Okay, that is five. That is four. That is six. That is eight. Oh no. That is six. And there's no way that I can do that. Oh no. Okay, that is $55, which we do not have. So, I need an IOU. $55 minus seven is $48. So that is pretty much what we would bring to the game next week. So I will need to have to, I will need to f squeeze out some more money out of my allowance for this um, in order to pay that. Well, that hurt. <laughs> uh. But that's how Shut the Box Extended happens or works. Okay. Well, I'm going to flip that around. This is what I wanted though. I wanted to save me a lot of money because I need to make a good debt payment. And when this is complete, especially if I have that bad of luck, it will be a really good debt payment. So, even though that hurt a little, we are done with this. Um, and like I said during that unboxing, my idea is just to um, do one whole page. Once the, once the challenge is complete, make the payment to debt and then start on the next page and just keep going. And Shalana makes her book so that you can play it low income. Um, the directions at the top make it so that you can do it low income, but because I want to use this for debt, I am going to play it high income. So, um, yeah. I'm so excited to keep working on this and, and to see what it, how much it pays off of my student loans. So, I will see you on the next Slaying My Student Loan Debt. Um, I don't know that this will change much because my 
husband was sick so his check will be short and I was going to make another snowflake payment but um, I don't think I'll have the extra funds to do that now but that's okay um, there's always next time so thanks for watching everyone bye